Hi, my name is Kim Baker and I'm president and CEO of Kentucky Performing Arts. We may be shut in, but the arts are not shut down. That's why we're happy to bring you KPA at Home. KPA at Home showcases local and regional artists, connects artists with their audiences, and provides paying gigs for performers whose livelihood has been impacted by COVID-19. We wanna thank Brown Foreman for their support of this series and for all they do to keep the arts alive in our community. We hope you enjoy the show, are healthy and hopeful, and we look forward to the day we can be together again. Thank you. Hello, good people. I hope you can hear me real soon. I hope you can hear the audio coming out of my computer because who knows, who knows. I have signal to my computer and I hope I have signal to all of you. Sorry about that, no whammies, no take backs. Um, this is going to be a lovely, lovely live stream. Hopefully the audio is pristine for you, which is why you didn't hear it the first time because this guy screwed some stuff up. But no matter, I'm gonna get this music rolling with you. Hi everybody, good to see you, good to see you. Thank you for the hearts, Tally. Keep those hearts, keeps those hands, keep those whatever emojis you wanna send along coming. I'm gonna play a song for you called The Globe. Never told you how the globe burned down. Oh, but it ain't no secret. Just ask around. Some hot sick man, fed up with his fate, tossed it to the ground in a desperate state. He grown tired of the tragedies, tired of the death, tired of watching Romeo take one last breath. But something as crazy as love, love, love. You know what I'm talking about. all the books but never taught him to read oh so when she first kissed him i heard him beg and pete he saw the storm on the water he felt every swear he was on top of the mountain and barely aware for some days the fountain on our cheese and wear sometimes the bag of bricks or some kind of spare there's nothing as wild as love 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 Yes, child. Ooh, I said, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They gave him all. Well, he wasn't much for religion, but he learned to. Occasions when the wine led his mind astray, he built a chapel for his conscience, a shack for his regrets, sent his eye to an island still he could not forget the sound of her touch, the color of her song, a jumble of words where a space belongs for something as simple as love, love, oh love, love. Yes, child, Ooh. I said, Ooh. yeah, 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 Ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. up here at KPA at home. I hope y'all are having a beautiful evening. For those of y'all that 
have been joining me each Friday night. It's good to have you back. I hope you're gathered around with the ones you love. Maybe you've popped some popcorn, built a pallet on the floor. You know, you do your home how you do your home. And it's like we're doing our home how we're doing our home, which is kind of crazy right now with three kids. But I miss some of my homes that I go and visit a lot. And one of those homes was the Kentucky Performing Arts. It was a place where I like to put on a lot of shows and play music and create with a lot of my friends, some of which are watching tonight. Hi, everybody. And so I'm so happy to be uh, part of KPA at Home, the first launch of this program and this new pivot into the bright future beyond. Uh, <laughs> that song I wrote kind of as a joke about being frustrated when I was watching Boz Luhrmann's version of um, Romeo and Juliet. And of course, I'm a big Boz Luhrmann fan. Anybody else, Boz Luhrmann? Give me a heart if you love the old Boz Luhrmann. Um, and I was just frustrated with the fact that obviously the plot was working against those two lovers. And it's just, there should be, it should be changed. Like, come on, people. There, you have the, you have the power in your hands, but they just don't know what they don't know, even though us readers do. Um, but that last verse, that last verse is very much inspired by Oliver Sacks and all the wonderful writing that he's done about the brain and music and uh, plays a lot with the idea of synesthesia. Like um, he built a chapel for his, um, let's see, how's, how's the words go? It goes, um, well, he wasn't much for religion, but he learned to pray. For occasions when the wine led his mind astray, he built a chapel for his conscience, a shack for his regrets, zip desire to an island still he could not forget the sound of her touch, the color of her song, a jumble of words where a space belongs, for something as crazy as love. I mean, that's all about your emotions and your senses getting all mixed up, which I think is what happens when you're in love and also when your heart is breaking. So um, moving along to other senses getting mixed up, here's a tune that I wrote with a wayfaring stranger that I met in the subways of New York. There's a banjo player sitting on a suitcase with a kick drum pedal attached to his suitcase, singing his guts out. And I stood and listened to him as the trains came in and out, and I was just so impressed with the momentum of his music. I stopped and asked him, I said, man, where are you from? And he said, I'm from West Virginia, but I don't live there anymore. I was like, whoa, dude, we're like neighbors. He's like, yeah, well, I live on the trains now. The trains, what do you mean the trains? I said, well, when I was 15 years old, I got really tired of living in West Virginia. And so I hopped on a coal train. I've been hopping trains ever since. And I said, man, that's, that's incredible. And I stood and listened to a few more of his songs. And after a while, I had to go. And I said, if you ever make it down to Kentucky, look me up. But sure enough, he did make his way down to Kentucky. And he did look me up. And we sat on my back porch. And we wrote this tune together. It's called Captivity. And definitely is infused with some of his personal story. Yeah, the heat of my brain turns the iron balls around me to dust. Whoa, oh, but when I come to my senses, it's a winter's day and there's just a little rust. And I'm walking through the revolving doors in my mind. Whoa, oh, but no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to get out the other side. Everywhere I look, he's looking back. Mm -hmm. I'm a holy man with a stained glass cathedral. Poor, oh, but when I look in the mirror, all I see is cinder blocks and stainless steel. I got eight tailored suits waiting for me when I get back home. Oh, if I ever get back home. Yeah, yes. Cause everywhere I look, he's looking back to where I'm looking when I get back to where I'm looking to go. Oh, you can hold me captive for all these things I've done. 
But I'm quite sure by now This ain't the only race I'm gonna run She said she could never forget the look in my eyes Oh, it's a misfortune, it's fortune that I've been here But at least I'm still alive And I once knew a man who traveled by the whistle's aim. Oh, it's a misfortune, it's fortune that I'm in here. Mm, it's been 40 years now, but I just want someone to know my name. Cause everywhere I look is looking back to where I'm looking when I get back to where I'm looking to go. I sprint towards freedom How else would you move that way Oh, but I ain't as fast as I used to be And the dogs are catching up But I'm gonna die the way So I might as well die trying Whoa, whoa Cause everywhere I look is looking back To where I'm looking when I get back To where I'm looking Yes, everywhere I look is looking back To where I'm looking when I get back To where I'm looking Oh, everywhere I look is looking back to where I'm looking when I get back to where I'm looking to go. That's right. That song is called Captivity. It was written with a wayfaring stranger that I met in the subways of New York by the name of Morgan O'Kane. Um, he has popped in and out of my life and in and out of a lot of people's lives, and you can actually spot him uh, – Making a cameo appearance appearance in Louis C.K.'s show that he uh, that he made there for a little while. He's the banjo player in there, so um, he's a pretty stellar stellar musician. And I hope he's out there doing well, whether or not <laughs> whether or not he's under a roof right now or just living in the world. Well, hey y'all, it's good to see you. Some shout outs for folks. I think Tally Russell's here. I miss you, Tally. I don't get to see you every day now that we're not working in the office together. Hi, Wendy. Julia, thank you. I love your storytelling as well. Definitely excited to hear your voice on this Lift Up Louisville track. Just saying. Um, Mark, it's good to see you again. Thanks again to Kentucky Performing Arts for for uh, for having me play here. Let me know if there's something in particular that you want to hear, and I will do my very best to work it into this short set. Uh, Wayfaring Stranger, Yes. That is a good, good song. I don't know if you all know that one, but that's one my grandfather used to sing a lot. Ah, I see her. Figure out what key I did it in. I am a poor wayfaring stranger Traveling through this land of woe There is no sin Toil or danger in that bright land to which I go. I'm going there to see my brother. I'm going there, no more road. I am just going over Jordan. I'm just going over home. It's a beautiful traditional tune that my grandfather, who had a big influence on my musical life, used to play a lot for me on his fiddle. And you could always tell my grandfather's playing because he, because he had a, uh, his second finger had been mashed off as a child uh, with a rocking chair. So he had kind of a snaggle nail that he kept, and he liked to slide with it, kind of like a you know, like a like a slide guitar sort of player. So you could always pick him out in a crowd of, of fiddlers. His name was Elvis Henry Cornelius, and he has gone on to the into the other side these days. Hopefully, he has is no stranger there. Keeping some things rolling here, we got uh, uh, a request for change is going to come. That's a popular one these days on the old live streams. I think I understand why it is. Uh, you know, a beautiful thing. John Prine, absolutely. What a what a sad thing to have uh, to have missed out on. Um, I never got to play any music with him, but he certainly inspired a lot of music for me. Whoa, Haniel Vaughn comes up with a request for "Turn on the Moon." That is a uh, 
that's an old school one. I don't know for those of you all that are long, long, long time fans, like before I was putting out mu <laughs> records on the streets, um, I put out a record, gosh, I might have been 18, 19, uh, a record called Turn on the Moon. And it's a, it was a homespun affair recorded in the basement of my, uh, of my parents' house and with some additional tracks recorded at a studio in, gosh, Paris, Kentucky or something like that, or Perry, Kentucky. And uh, it's a tune that I think is, is pretty fitting for these days. Let's see if I can remember it. What have I done? What will I do? Why am I fighting this war? This war. As the night falls down and the night rages on, the sun will rise. I can unclench my fist and close my eyes. Oh, and close my eyes. Ooh. And I hope things change soon. Cause this show sure ain't no way to live. This is the darkest night I think I've ever known. Somebody please Won't somebody please Turn on the moon There y'all go. That is one that I have not played in many, many years, but I think it's... Um, it's definitely fitting for these times for sure. Hope you're doing all right up there. I see requests for Prettiest Tree on the Mountain from Sam Stewart. Hi, Sam. It's good to see you all. Oh, man, so many good folks. Chocolate Jesus and Jordan Ellis. I have a request for Jordan Ellis as well. Oh, somebody requested My Old Kentucky Home. That would be a, that would be a good one to play. 
let's play something up tempo and then we'll get we'll get to uh my old kentucky home for sure Just make sure to send those send those hearts and send those ears let me know that y'all are listening out there how about uh let's see here what's one that we haven't played on the live stream yet we've played some uh electrified but we haven't played um I think sometimes when I'm on the cello, I'm like, shoot, what should I play? And I just think by <laughs> by playing. Jordan Ellis knows this very well. Something's, huh. someone's taken the boy from your face, traded you your eyes for those that have seen. The shade of your innocence consumed in heat. You put your hands in your pockets, buried as deep as they will go. You're gonna find a reason you won't be at the show, and I can see the patterns. I can feel the repetition You're hurting Something's perched there on the steeple You let your eyes follow it away Kick the rocks down the road There's no use to pray Some days you won't remember But most days you can't forget How they pulled you from the water Separated from the rest Who makes these rules? Who's keeping tabs? You're looking for answers But there's none to be had And I can see the patterns I can feel the repetition It's gonna be Taking the boy from your face, traded you your eyes for those that have seen. Dang, 
I guess I needed to play that song. It's yeah, it's been a while. Mm. I'll never forget how that song started. My sister, it was like a family gathering after folks had been. Uh, hmm. After fo- we hadn't gathered for a while as a family, and my sister's about six years older than me, and I walked in the door, and she kind of looked up at me, and without saying hi or greeting me in any way, she was just like, "Wow, the boys all gone from your face." And I just kind of stopped in that moment and fell into whatever universal hole there is that us songwriters fall into sometimes and um, just thought about that. Like, what does that mean? Does that mean I've lost something? Does that mean I've gained something? I don't know. I've got to think about this. And then I kind of popped back up and I was like, oh, it's good to see you too. And then later kind of returned to that. And like, wow, the boy, the boy's gone from your face. And that's where that line came from. Um, someone's taken the boy from your face, traded your eyes for those that have seen the shade of your innocence consumed in heat. So I guess it's a transformation. Nothing's like lost, nothing's gained. It's just a transformation. So, um, and you know, I think in many ways we are going through a really big transformation right now. And music is such a wonderful tonic in those times, a deep, important tonic. Um, thank you all so much for listening to us. This is a short performance uh, for KPA at Home. Again, Kentucky Performing Arts is an organization based here in Louisville, Kentucky, but they work all around the state to bring incredible artists to our communities to share their music, their art, their ideas, their culture. And it's such an amazing organization, and like a lot of organizations out there right now. They're trying to figure this out. They're trying to figure out how they're going to survive. They're going to they're trying to figure out how they're going to provide value to their communities and they need your support. They need all of our support. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here tonight is because I want to connect you all with the work that they're doing. They are uh, really an amazing community of people and they care of deeply for uh, not just Louisville, but the state of Kentucky and helping elevate the arts here because there's some great stuff here. There's some wonderful stuff. And so I hope you can seek them out online. We didn't put a donate button on this particular feed, but uh, that's because we trust that you all will go find ways to support if you can. That doesn't have to be monetarily. That can be making sure that you subscribe and like and follow them on social media so that you can help amplify their messages as well. Thank you so, so much for listening. I really appreciate you all. What should we close out with tonight? What should we close out with? Hmm. Somebody requested Eva Kelly. Man, I have not played that one in a sec. Hmm. What else? <laughs> Lori, uh, Lori says, in German, they have an expression, you've gained face. Like the life shows up on your face as we age. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, how is it said in German, though? Ooh, oof, gained face. <laughs> Well, I'm gaining a lot of face these days with an infinite home during quarantine. I tell you that right, right now. Um, oh, so Jordan the Harpist is asking, would love to know who the Harpist is in your house. I, I don't have a Harpist in my house. I have a, a dear friend whose house was being crowded with various things, and she was looking to um, find a home for it. And since I do a lot of film scoring, I um, need all kinds of different sounds. Like I've got the harp there that I can do um, sonic textures with. I've got this fun thing that makes all kinds of scary noises. It's a, it's a horror movie in a cowbell mixed together. Um, and so I play – try to play the lever harp a little bit and um you know hopefully one of my kids will pick it up because it's it's quite a nice harp so thank you all so much for listening i'll close out with uh well i mean we got to close out with a classic right my old kentucky home after we end this feed i'm going to do an encore performance over on instagram live so for those of you all that are instagram followers uh, i'll see you all over there i'll go live and i'm going to be collaborating with some various people that bringing into the feed on that one so that should be really fun encore performance on instagram live after this i'll see you all there thanks again for watching and if you have it in you to uh leave a tip it's very much appreciated in these times we're all trying to figure it out so i understand if that's not possible for you but i really appreciate it all right
feel the sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home. It's summer, the people are gay. The corn tops are ripe and the fees are all in bloom and the birds make music all song for the old Kentucky home, for the old Kentucky home far away. next Friday uh, with uh, more songs, more music, and more stories. Take care of each other. Stay healthy. Stay home. And we'll see you around. Bye, everybody.